What's up guys? I uh, haven't made a video in a while, but I'm, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be unboxing this Singer uh, sewing machine. That is a really weird thing to unbox, but I, uh, and a weird thing to be on my tech channel, but it's, I guess it's kind of somewhat tech related. It has buttons to screen. Um, but this is actually, I'm going to be making, not really sewing clothes or anything, but more of, um, homemade backpacking gear, I'm going to make like, you know, um, quilt, um, different, maybe tarp, um, different, whatever, little things you might sew, gloves for backpacking, but yeah, I'm going to start unboxing that now. Okay, so, as I cut this open, I just got to get a um, sewing machine Black Friday, or a cheap one. And I ended up not getting it. I kind of wanted ultimately a better one. This again is the Singer Stylus 7258. Um, normally it runs between, I guess, 160 and 190 on Amazon. Um, the reason I got it, I was just kind of waiting until one went on sale that was like decent quality. I was going to get a brother um, when it went on sale. Um, but I saw this one's on a Singer's a fairly good brand for sewing machines. I don't know too much myself. But, uh,. I went on sale for 137 before tax, 145 after tax, and I had like a $10 gift card. So, I got it for 135 ultimately. Um, and, hopefully, you know, I've never used the sewing machine before, so we'll see what happens. I guess it comes with a, let's start, it comes with a quick start um, DVD here, instructions, uh, I guess just a singer bag. In your manual and things like that, I guess. Otherwise, little, uh, little uh, support information and uh, your manual. Put that off to the side over here. Let's see. This sewing machine has a good weight to it. Um, because it has an old setup. No metal frame. Um, I believe that frame is aluminum. Um, let's see. Is the pedal black? I guess I never saw a picture of the pedal online. I'll just into that real quick here. See the pedal, plastic. It's gonna have a soft spring and plug. So nothing fancy, but I, I think I've used the same machine once before. because I can't show me at the time how to use it. Closer. Okay, as you can see, you can see all the little stitches right here on screen. I'm not going to do much more than just kind of show you general stuff because I don't know how much to explain. Um, as your speed control here, um, reverse to set in the seam, start, stop, needle position uh, right here. Um, I guess the grid auto. It has an auto steam width, and you can go. I think that's what this is. Um, plus three and minus three. Actually, 
that's probably not I'm not sure actually what that is um let's see take out that this holds on this little door right here accessory door how do I get this out this out break it oh first to pull it out pull it out this way okay this is your button foot by the looks turn my little screen around yeah but button hook and what comes right here so that slide, slide right back in. Boom. Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay. We got more little foots. Got some bobbins. Um, got a little brush, I guess, to clean off some stuff. Don't know what that attachment is. Um, got some pads. I guess that's just general maintenance items. Got all the foots, same feet, whatever you want to call them. Got a um, standard needles right in here. Um, and I'm gonna have to learn all this stuff. Um, what needle goes for what fabric? Um, kind of shows has all the little directions on top here. Kind of shows what goes where. There's anything behind here? It is a, the feel of it feels a higher quality plastic than I thought it would be. Um, it actually is pretty. It's not. It's not cheap plastic, and it's you know it's medium high quality. I'd say in terms of plastic quality. Um, this is obviously not metal. Um, this little door is where the bobbin goes. I'll have to figure out how to do that. I suppose I will take that out. I know what it has, I guess it already has a needle inside of it. I'm gonna have to figure out how to change out the needle and everything here. But, uh, yeah. I uh, most likely won't be able to answer any questions, at least yet, on this. So, I just kinda get it out, cause I didn't see any videos on this yet, so I'll be making some videos. Like I said, this is for my backpacking channel, I'll have that link down below. Um, if you wanna see some of my hiking adventures um I'm pretty awkward in front of the camera but that's that's fine um i'm trying to get better uh but also i'm gonna try and make videos once i figure out myself how to make like a quilt how to make uh mittens booties uh stuff like that uh, i'm actually gonna try and make a backpack too um but once i figure out how to make that i'm gonna try and make a video on how to make uh, those items i guess i don't there are some videos on there. I'm gonna start with the stuff sacks. I actually uh turn my camera around here. I actually just bought this fabric here. This the uh, This is like a nylon nylon cotton mix, I guess. Feels more nylon y. But that's similar material than to what I'm gonna sew. Um, so I got, I think, I got like two yards of it. Yeah, two yards uh, of this fabric. And so I'm gonna try and sew, sew some stuff sacks out of this. So um, I don't know, sew some like basic gloves and see if I can make the outline of it. And that's four dollars for two yards, and I can make a lot of, a lot of little things out of this. I can even make a backpack out of this. I think you're gonna need. Uh, some I want to take a yard of fabric, just over a yard, so we'll, we'll see. Um, do a lot of stuff. It's all this fleece that was on sale, and it was like, looks cool, zebra stripes. So I'm gonna try, um, make just a, just a little, I guess a fleece blanket out of it. I don't know, maybe, uh, probably make a cut off a little bit. I got this green, green of fourth yards, uh, it's what they had left, so. I'll figure it out. I'll pull pull it out. It's thirteen dollars. So if I can make a blanket out of this, they'll and they'll learn how to sew fleece. We'll be good to go. Um, but yeah, um, if you have any more questions, I'll try and answer them. If I don't answer, you don't feel bad. But um, you know. Um, but otherwise.
thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helped you on the sewing machine. I guess see it more in detail than just pictures, but uh, thanks again, and I'll be seeing you in the next video.